everyone let me introduce you to the very first Traxxas Max Dunk <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. That's right, just goofing around, made a donk out of the uh, Max Slash here. So I took off one of the factory wheels and realized they, they put a plastic spacer in there to fill in the hole where normally a larger hex would fit in there. So I was like messing around, I'm looking through my collection there. And the, the one vehicle I had that the tires were closest in size to what came off of this was the, um, the Big Rock. Now a lot of people complain that the Big Rock slid around too easy the tires didn't have much traction so this might be a good test if i could throw this thing around and it doesn't flip over like it did the other day then maybe we can narrow it down to the tires now i do suspect the servo being weak i've seen other channels mention it and other people commented that they've actually driven the car now one i've never really bought into buy a new car throw a servo into it but in this situation maybe now my kagama i complain about the same thing it would make some uncommanded turns when it would jump the wheels would stay locked i turned the voltage up to the servo and that cured that problem i can't do that on the traxxas even with the bluetooth app there's no change the voltage so the servo might just be underpowered so we're just going to diagnose this one thing at a time i'm going to try out these tires i know they're larger uh but we'll see i mean now the vehicle is actually sitting up higher so if it doesn't roll over that's fine now, I don't want to get into all the trolls and some of the hate. Most of the comments that came through are very positive, and I greatly appreciate that. But I know the difference between body roll and rolling over for no reason. I know what traction rolling is. My Kagama video, those are very, very uh, knobby tires. And in the grass, it would grab that grass, and it would roll. And I mentioned it. And nobody jumped saying, I don't know how to drive. Matter of fact, for those that think that, can you fly? Do you know how to work? See, here's your throttle. You're coming in, you got a little crosswind. You're working your throttle. You got you got to work that rudder for the crosswind. You also got to work your ailerons here. So you're working that to keep the plane left and right. And now you're working your elevator. And you're coming in for landing. Then you're going to flare, cut the throttle, hit your switch, throttle back up, thrust reverse, bring your flaps down. Bring it, you know, before you land, bring your landing gear down, whatever, you know, wherever the switches you have, AS3X on, off, safe, motor on, off, cut off, you know. I think if you can handle manipulating so much stuff here and actually fly a plane, turning the little steering wheel here is not very hard. All right, I know that these are toys and maybe you want to act a little macho about it. We need a little machoism because we're playing with toys. But it's just a toy at the end of the day. So let's have some fun with it. Before you make comments, do some research. People making comments about me doing donuts on that first video. As I showed, it was uncommanded. I had throttle on and it was doing it on its own. And people said on the second video, I didn't see it roll over. Well, if you would have watched, I lowered the springs down. This thing came out of the box with no tension in the springs. They were bouncing around in there. I did that again and the front end was bouncing on the ground. And yeah, it didn't roll over as much. As soon as I put tension back in the springs and bring the car up, it's where it just rolls over. It hits bumps, it just shoots up. There's something not quite right with this with the suspension. Yeah, I contact Traxxas. I wanted to know when the anti-sway bars would be released and to let them know that hey, this thing rolls way too easy. You know, I'm I'm having a little problem with the car. What I would expect out of customer service would be like, hey, sorry to hear that. You know, uh, let's take your information if this tends to be a thing and we come up with a fix we'll, we'll contact you not not to be told and actually lied to that it's a skill level 4 vehicle on 4s there's no little asterisk that says hey this is a level 6 or 8 on 8s or 6s and that 4s is where you should start i have so many rc cars ones that are way faster and more powerful than this but tell me i can't handle it you know come like i said if i could fly the plane this ain't that hard so i don't want to rant too much i, I want to keep everything positive lighthearted. let's take this thing out and see how it does on the big rock tires let's go i hope man i hope this is gonna film it's really hard to look
that's uh I can pretty much hold the servo back with my hand oops let's not bend that so yeah that truly not a very strong servo wow so I wonder how can we might have to tighten that servo saver but I'm not 100% sure how on this one I imagine you probably have to take this brick bracket off that might actually help tightening that but this is not a very strong oh look at that there's very little movement this way but more this way that's weird but it's probably because I have to have the trim all the way to the far right to get this thing to be centered so the servo doesn't have the same travel that it should have so I gotta take this thing out center it and all that fun stuff so I do have one problem the tires are hitting the body mounts uh, they need uh, oh well nope See, still, it's better. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not better. <clears throat> oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Their tires are hitting that stuff so bad. See, now look. I should be able to. I should be able to off power, turn the wheel, and it just. Hey, there, it finally wheelie. Oh man, look, wheel, wheelie's better with the bigger tires. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. That was not, I wasn't even on power. That was not a bad. Now see, the, uh, you watched my other video. I had all kinds of cars out here, full throttle and speed through here and they weren't flipping. Did you look? Look, look? Did you see that the wheels uncommanded? That could be the problem. Now that we actually take the body off and we can see what's going on. Turn the TQI down. We're actually just going to turn it off. Did you see that? How it's staying turned? I think that's the problem right there. That. Did you see that? Did you see when it came around the corner? The wheels went right. I had TQI is is off. I was seriously steering left to bring it towards me, and the car just went to the right on its own. Yeah, I think now that I have actually larger tires on here and the body off, I can actually see what's going on. Now that one, I don't blame the car. It, it hit, slid in the grass and turned. 
I'm not friggin' dumb. Hear that cogging? Look. I understand the TQI trying to do some of the trying to straighten it out. Now see that should not happen. I'm sorry, I just These are not that excessive of a maneuver. That should cause this thing to just roll. Are you tell me what would be the difference if I had 4S in there. I couldn't hit that speed on 4S? Ooh, I gotta calm down. I forgot these tires bloom. And they're hitting. <laughs> I guess I need to stop before I ruin my body mounts, but... Yeah, so I think we can rule out tires. I really think it's either going to be in the servo or the servo saver. Because I'm definitely seeing some uncommanded turns on these tires. Do you see the cogging? I guess that's me. I understand it's not censored motor. God damn it, Todd. Again, nobody said anything about it not having a fan. I complained about that. <sighs> yeah. Well, we had fun, but yeah, I'm thinking. You know, it turns great right there, but, you know, if you. Look, so if the tire's grabbing you, you're turning. Or, look, look at how easy I could just turn the wheels any which way I want. And there's no... So that, I mean, that's, mo that's all servo saver. Golly. God, man, when the motor gets hot, it cogs bad. All right. Well, everyone, look, I just try to be honest about what i view when i see these cars because you're gonna go and spend seven hundred dollars don't you want some information you don't have to agree with me but don't try to make it sound like an idiot and i don't know how to handle a car this is a toy car they're not that complicated uh i let you witness just have an open mind about it i own plenty of tractors i don't hate tractors i really have high hopes for this car and I still do. I think, you know, once we figure out what is actually causing this, and if it could very well just come down to a servo saver, that this thing's in a turn and the tire makes an uncommanded quick turn, it's just upsetting the balance of the vehicle so fast. You know, like go on the interstate, go 80 miles an hour and turn your steering wheel like you do at 20. It's gonna, you're, you're gonna roll your car. It just, physics, man, takes over at that point. Look at this thing. It's still making hard. I get the trim set one way and then it just gets off. I'm narrowing down the servo saver. So I'm not sure if this is the same servo saver that's in the Max or what. But I'm thinking the... Uh, I'm putting my money on the servo saver. So we're gonna, I'm going to look into that and that's going to be the next stop. So guys... Let's keep it let's keep it kind and positive, man. It's not, you know, go crazy about stuff. If you love Traxxas, I understand that. I love Traxxas too. I really want this car to work. I like it. I mean, I think it looks amazing. I just want it to drive amazing. And I show you this, not because I'm trying to bash the company. And it's not because I don't know how to drive. That's just insulting to tell somebody that. Uh, I'm doing it so... To help the public out you make an informed decision so if we find a problem with this thing maybe it's a servo saver you can make the decision okay I, i'm willing to buy this car and spend some money on a servo saver maybe hopefully traxxas will see the video research it and they'll fix the problem 
maybe they'll even warranty that stuff for people that already have it because it was defect you know i'm not mad that something comes out of the factory defective it's how you handle it after the fact that says if you value your people or not so everyone just trying to give you an honest opinion about stuff so i'm gonna put a fan on that motor i'm gonna put the regular tires back on here i'm gonna research a servo saver and we'll be back thank you very much for the support thank you for uh, the positive comments like i said we don't have to agree but you know let's not talk down to each other okay let's keep it civil thanks for watching hope to see you on the next one